Uh, welcome to uh, physics secondary revision. I want us to revise a practical question and this is on Ohm's law. You must read the instructions in the paper and the instructions reads as follows. Read the instructions carefully and follow them. Study the diagram well and try to understand. Use the formula or the formulas given and the units provided. Verify that you have all the required apparatus before you start. Now, question one. You are provided with the following. An ammeter, <coughs> a voltmeter, two cells, size B, a cell holder, a switch, a wire labeled L mounted on a millimeter scale, a micrometer screw gauge, a six connecting wires, at least four with crocodile clips. Now go through the questions and the requirements. Make sure they are provided. Link the list to the topic you have learned before, e.g. electricity. Use a micrometer screw gauge, measure and record the diameter D of the wire and put the values at the sp in the space. Micrometer screw gauge is used for measuring small lengths, for example, diameter of thin wire, it has thimble and main scale, and it measures in millimeters. And the accuracy is to two decimal places, that is 0, 0.00. Let's measure the thickness of the wire. The slip scale is 0 0.3, the thimble scale is 0 0.05. We add the two, and then we get 0 0.3 five millimeters and we convert it into uh, SI units. Place the two cells in a series in a cell holder and use the voltmeter to measure and the, to and the total electromotive force, the EMF, which is denoted by E0 in voltage. Cells in series means cells arranged end to end. A voltmeter is connected across the battery and read and make sure that the reading must be in two decimal places. Here we are, we have got the EMF being measured, two cells, a voltmeter, connect the two clip onto the a voltmeter across the terminals and we end up having the voltage as 3.0 volts. <coughs> Starting with the switch open, connect the circuit as shown in the figure 5, P and Q are points on the wire L such that PQ is 60 centimeters. N is a point on the wire such that PN is 10 centimeters, which we are going to vary as we go along. Now study the figure and follow the connections as given. Measure the lengths accurately. Any small error will affect your final results. I use the non-parallax method. Uh, close the switch and record the, the current I. Measure the records uh, measure and record in the table 2 below that is given the potential difference and the difference between uh, the potential difference across P and <coughs> measure and record the potential difference across the P and of other values of P and N shown in table 2 and complete the table. Now we are here, we are going to start our experiment. Uh, we have the battery, we have the voltmeter and ammeter for measuring current, voltmeter for measuring voltages, and a wire L mounted on a millimeter scale and the clips. So we are going to uh, first of all connect the wire to a 10 PN. So we have PN and putting on the switch, we get the voltmeter reading and ammeter reading is 0 0.35. Voltmeter reading is 0 0.48, we record it, then we repeat, now we move the uh, clip to uh, 0 0.2, that is 20 centimeters on the wire, then we, we get the voltmeter reading, 0 0.8 voltage, we put the record. Then we go ahead and uh, measure 30 centimeters. 
So we move it to 30 centimeters, close the switch, get the voltmeter reading 1.2, 1.20, code. Um, we repeat again at uh, 40 centimeters, then switch on, get the voltmeter reading, record. We now move it to 5. 0, 0 0.5 close the switch voltmeter reading is 1.90 then 6 then the voltmeter reading 2.25 now you are through with that experiment now you need to get the resistance so on the graph provided, plot a graph of the resistance y-axis against length. We are having the gra um, graph. Now we do the calculation so that we get the resistance. So 0 0.48 divided by our current, which was 0 0.35, we get 1.3. 0 0.8 over 0 0.35, we get 1.2.3. 1.20 over 0 0.35, we get 3.4. 1.2 over 0 0.35, we get 4.6. 1.90 over 0 0.35, we get 5.4. Then lastly, 2.25 divided by 0 0.35, we get 6.4. Now we go ahead and plot our graph. <coughs> our graph paper is there. <coughs> we draw our axis. <coughs> so we are going to use the scale. Uh, our scale is 0 0.01 <coughs> on the x-axis <coughs> and uh, uh, 0 0.1 on the y-axis. <coughs> we plot 0 0.1 versus 1.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, mm -hmm. we plot. Then we use the line of best fit. We join the lines that are fitting on the straight line. Then we calculate the slope of the graph. <coughs> change in y over change in x. So the slope is 10.5. So therefore, from the graph, Determine the slope S of the space in, in and its SI units. We have got 10.5. <coughs> then <coughs> we know that uh, the ratio of resistance um, to voltage, that is um, when we have, um, um, that is, um, then the constant K and its SI unit. Then the constant K and its SI units, S is equals to 4K over pi D squared. So we can calculate the value of um, <coughs> S. <coughs> we have got the value of S. We can get K. And K is equals to pi D squared S over 4. And that is pi is equals to 3.0 times 10 to the power 4 minus 4 squared times 10.5 over 4. So then we have 74.22 times 10 to the power minus 8. Then we have 7.422 times 10 to the power uh, minus 7. So from the graph, determine the determine the constant T given that T is equals to E naught minus VN over I where VN is the PD and PN is 0 0.64 meters. Calculate.